Now when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were filled and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Steve Mapp, and I am so glad that you've taken time this morning to join us for our devotional on this Monday, uh, April the 26th. We're now in the 21st day of the Red Letter Challenge. I hope you've been following along with us and, and reading these devotionals on a, on, a, on a daily basis along with us. This week, we're focused on the discipline of serving. This purpose that we all have, that God calls us to as followers of Jesus, is to step beyond our faith and turn it into action by serving the needs of others, no matter who they are, where they are, or when the opportunity uh, is presented to us. We're to respond with servant attitude. And, and this passage that I've read this morning, I think is really important because to me it hits on, it hits on one of the most important points of the story, and that is this, in order to serve, we have to have, in essence, a humble spirit. We have to let go of our own needs to fill the needs of others. And in this particular story, Jesus, he wanted to get away by himself and just mourn the loss of John the Baptist, this, this, his cousin, his great friend, who had, who had basically paved the way for him and announced his coming. And yet, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them. He, he wanted to teach them. He wanted to, to heal their sick. And so he, he went about those duties, placing his own need for his quiet morning to the side while he took care of these crowds. And the disciples come to him and say, it's late. You know, we don't have much. It's desolate out here. Send these folks away, Jesus, so they can take care of themselves. And of course, Jesus' response is, no, no, no. No, 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 no. They need not go away. You give them something to eat. And of course, they talk about how little they have, but Jesus takes that little bit, and of course, with God's blessing, is able to break it and feed all of the crowd uh, with the disciples uh, working uh, with him uh, in, that, in that feeding. And of course, we know at the end of the story that there is so much left over to me, one of the most important points uh, in the story is this need to be humble, to, to put away our own needs, our own fears, our own um, frustrations, if you will, uh, our own inconveniences, because the disciples felt inconvenienced in all of this. And that humble attitude and that humble spirit uh, allows us to put our needs, our wants to the side when there's the opportunity to help someone else uh, in, in front of us. Uh, Pastor Zach in the 21st uh, uh, challenge today, day, uh, daily challenge, speaks about the passage. He, he actually has it in the devotional about the time when uh, John the Baptist, who who was to prepare the way for Jesus and to announce his coming, has his own disciples, and he had been the one that was baptizing people. And of course, Jesus begins that ministry, that baptism ministry, and his John's disciples are, are concerned about that. 
and say to him, wait, wait, John, Jesus is now doing this. And John quickly says, that's okay. That's as it should be. That's according to God's plan and purpose. I was to announce his coming. He is greater than I. It's time for me to decrease and him to increase. And I think that's what Jesus is telling these disciples on, on this hillside late that evening uh, when the crowds were so large. Put your needs to the side and take what we have and let's make do with that and give it to take care of the needs of others. And what happens? God expands it, makes it even bigger than, than we could imagine that it could be. And that's what happens, I think, in a life of service. You know, Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. And I think truly that when we serve others, when we put the needs of others ahead of ourselves, we do have life in abundance. Our life is more full. It's wonderful to help someone they gain from whatever it is that we can do to help them, for sure. But boy, is there a great gain in my life when I can say I was able to do something to help them, to help them increase. Wow, how special is that? I think when we find a way to put someone else's needs ahead of our own, wow, that is living a life to the full, abundantly. And that's what we learn to do when we follow Jesus and his life of service. And it all starts with a humble heart, like John the Baptist, certainly like Jesus' heart. Humility is so important in our desire to serve. And so today, I really appreciate you you coming in for our devotional this morning. And I hope that you get a chance to, to participate each day this week as we uncover uh, this whole uh, discipline of serving others. So, so important. But it really does make our life so much more full when we can give what we have of ourselves to someone else and help them have them increase. What a powerful lesson for today. Thanks for joining me. I pray your safety. Pray for God's continued blessing. Always enjoy being with you. Look forward to seeing you again next time. So God bless you and have a great day.